nothing, nothing like being able to just shower. Would like them to be a little bit longer, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I still enjoy them though, they're awesome. My name is Jim Brown. I'm the homeless navigator uh, with the San Fernando Valley Rescue Mission Shower Program. Uh, my role is to basically accompany the uh, SOS program, which is our mobile shower and clothing unit, and do on-site case management uh, for the guests that uh, attend. Hi, my name is Trini Romero. Um, I've been coming to the Rescue Mission Mobile Showers for almost four years. Uh, my name is uh, AJ. I, um, I'm, I'm homeless. I've been uh, doing this for about 30 months now and I've uh, been utilizing these showers for about two years. Uh, the ultimate goal is to try and work to get them off the street and into stable housing. That's the ultimate end. Um, and then to also um, work on bringing them uh, to Christ. Uh, well, I have no plumbing. Like I said, I have an electric cord, so I did have a TV and a refrigerator, but no toilet, no bath. I just got diagnosed that I'm in remission. Thought it's going to happen again, so we're looking for remission right now. Um, well, the shower program uh, was started a few years back. Uh, the first, the unit was actually donated by the uh, Andy Gump uh, Corporation, and basically, it just filled the need in the community, filled the need in the community for uh, showers for the guests. And uh, what we found is that uh, the shower program and what it provides uh, restores dignity to uh, people that are on the street. We want to feel, as homeless people, like everybody else. So we're trying to present a different way. They help us out with so, also with the shower part, the soap, the shampoo, the toothpaste, you know, everything, toothbrush, um, everything. So this is this really helps out. It provides people what, what they really need when they when they need it. You know? I've lived there in the San Fernando Valley for 49 years, and. Um, so if all these, these other people are from here too, you know, they don't want to leave here because they have either a family or kids. I am a full-time college student, um, going to Kaplan University online, um, studying to be, uh, human services. I want to be an advocate for the homeless. Most of my time is spent uh, studying, <laughs> doing schoolwork, and going, doing everything I can to help everyone I know. They were all stable at once. They all had homes at one point, and to be in a shower unit that's pretty much like one you would find at home um, keeps them connected, and, and I think you know keeps them hopeful that they'll you know someday be back in that situation. Uh, before I came out here, I, I was working, uh, uh, working on school. I was working. I had my own place and everything. I was just trying to get my life together, and then. Then my past caught up with me and they drug me back here kicking and screaming and And we didn't want to be homeless, you know? I did not want to be homeless. But I'm in this situation, so I'll take care of it. We're not trying to do this way, but this is circumstances that brought us here. And lack of tools to be able to to uh, get ourselves out of this. Thank God for them for helping people out down here. It's rough for those homeless people and um, it makes a big difference for, them, for us to take a shower. So I'm not going to let this homeless take me into a dark side. I'm going to make it a light side. And anything I can do to help you guys get this out more, I'm going to do it. Everything I go through, I end up growing from it and learning. And so I just apply all the things I've been through and try to help others get through their situation. We're not asking for a handout. We're asking for helping until we can get everything settled, you know, and that's it.